day is it? Where are we? Good morning guys, welcome back to another Disney vlog. The light is so bright, it's so early. It's Hollywood Studios day. But I do currently have hair like Beethoven. At least I have my Star Wars t-shirt on. It's currently about five to five. We're meeting down in the lobby at six. I just wanted to say hello. Um, now I need to wake my brain up slightly. Okay, it's Hollywood Studios. Okay, looking slightly more alive now. Apologies if my words aren't really making sense. If my face looks slightly like it's still in bed. My soul is, I think. So, a little bit about why we are up. I was gonna say at the crack of dawn, dawn hasn't even arrived yet. It's very much still pitch black outside. I just went for a little look on the balcony to see if there was any critters hanging outside. They're all still in bed. No zebras to be seen this morning. And we've got some really fun activities planned this morning with the larger group that we're doing this trip with. Uh, if you haven't seen the rest of these vlogs, we are here on the most incredible press trip with attractiontickets.com as part of a Disney trip that's all about hashtag how do you Disney to show you all the amazing different ways that every type of family and couple and friends all the different magical ways that you can enjoy a Disney holiday. If you're thinking about booking your own Disney trip, if this has given you any inspo, attractiontickets.com. I'm gonna leave all their info in the description box down below. They are the UK's number one attraction ticket provider with over 20 years experience selling Disney tickets as well as some amazing hotel packages too. So it's well worth checking out everything they've got to offer. They will be in the description box. How is the um, 50th anniversary coffee that we've got in here? Lovely. We had one yesterday, it was really nice actually. It was nice. This is the little coffee machine that's in our room. So we're gonna put that to good use right now. I feel like I've very much still got Beethoven curls. So I'm gonna sort these out a little bit. Um, and then we're gonna go and head down and meet the rest of the group and head to Hollywood Studios before it opens. How exciting. Time for a quick little OOTD before we go. A D-O-O-T-D. A doot. What's a double up? Time for a doot. It's always time for a doot. Doot doot. Got this cool Star Wars t-shirt on. Nice little retro Star Wars tee. This is from Truffle Shuffle. Got my trusty monkey shorts on. Trainers. And I've also got these nice sparkly lilac ears on. And Adam's gone. Hello. Camera on my t-shirt. Very cute. Because we're vlogging. See that? There we go. Little camera. Some nice khaki shorts. He was just saying as well that he wishes he had a Star Wars t-shirt. I didn't even think before we came that you might actually want some like vaguely themed clothing to wear to the yeah, parks. Yeah, I didn't think I did, but now I'm here. I kind of wanna, wanna be wearing my little t-shirt. There you go, let that be a lesson to any other, other halves out there. If you think you don't wanna get involved, just wait till you get Basically here. Basically a little Mandalorian t-shirt. Yeah, a little Grogu or... Grogu on my shoulder maybe. Well, we're heading to the right place to find something. You just rocked up at Hollywood Studios? The sun is just starting to rise. The Skyliner is ready to go. And so is our gang. Everyone's here, everyone turned up on time. So we're good to go. I think this will be the emptiest maybe Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway has ever been seen. Yeah, yeah. Adam remembers his way around these places. Like, we were here last week. I haven't got a clue where we're going and Adam's like, oh yeah, it's just up this way and then we go this way around here. Not a clue. Yeah, you're right, I can see a signpost. I don't know how that, how. We are heading over to Toy Story Land for our first adventure of the day. I'm walking backwards so I can get the full, like, <laughs> empty footage potential. There's Tower of Terror in the background there. We're heading up this way, past the theatre, to go and find everyone's favourite deputy. What's it? What's he called? One-Eyed Bar. <laughs> <laughs> One-Eyed Bar, everyone's favourite Disney character. There it is! My number one man. Nice to see you. Well, you're number one, man. Woody's a, Woody's a close second. This looks so beautiful in like the morning light. It's absolutely gorgeous.
buzzing. But <laughs> we are heading on to the one and only. The one and only. I've kind of forgotten about Slinky Dog. I'm really excited to ride that again. Oh yeah, it's good. That's such a fun ride. Um, but first things first, we have our most important ride, potentially the entire trip. We're about to do Toy Story Mania for the first time. How are you feeling? Confident. Done some warm-ups? Confident. Shoulders? Yeah. Arms? Since we, since we I've watched the YouTube videos. I've been doing boot camps <laughs> all weekend. Up. That's cheating. Let's do this. I'm feeling confident. I feel like my arms are prepped and ready. Oh, we've got the queue's really fun, isn't it? Yeah, Let's the queue is side. amazing for this ride. Absolutely amazing. Obviously, we're kind of whizzing through right now, but we did it <laughs> several times last time we were here. Did the full length queue, and it's such a fun one. Especially uh, the talking Mr. Potato Head that is like quite near the front, remember? Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Everything for a book, book, book. <laughs> Glasses at the ready. I'm not going to film this one because I want to win. So, sorry about that. Oh, look, it's like completely stationary on this side. It hasn't even switched on yet. Yeah. I'm just nailed a slinky impression Do it again. <coughs> Woody! That's good! Yeah, is that right? Well, I think that was one of your best. Okay, well that's the bar is low. <laughs> is there a technique for this? Just go for it. That's the technique. I think the technique is go mad. Yes! Yes! Rah! <laughs> 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 I can't go over it, but I have to do it. Here we go! Ready! <laughs> Oh, this one's really hard! times now to settle a full best of three battle. Yes, of course. Now I've got my eye in. <laughs> now Adam's got his serious eyes on the prize, he's got some making up to do. Probably the park is officially the open, the, the queue for Slinky is well underway, people table. must have really sprinted yeah. here because the park yeah. has literally been open for like five minutes. But um, still pretty empty. And it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. And now we're heading over to Galaxy's Edge to catch up with the rest of the group. I'm not sure whether we're doing another <laughs> Little challenge this morning, we'll have to find out. It's so cool how the minute you leave Toy Story Land, it's just it just flips like completely, like the sounds change around you. You're like fully immersed straight away. So we are now officially in Galaxy's Edge. Just a quick flight away. Do you want to tell everyone what we're about to do? I'll be back. Rise of the Resistance. We are about to do Rise of the Resistance for the first time ever. Adam's beside himself. <laughs> I'm going to join the dark side. I'm going to, I'm going to, no! I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to squash, no, I'm going to squash the resistance. So we don't really know what to expect. I don't know if it's a roller coaster, I don't know if it's a movie, I don't know if it's I think uh, it's like one of those that's like an experience. Yeah, yeah, it um, so just know the excitement levels are they don't get much higher than this. Can you do any good Star Wars impressions? 
Oh, you can do a good C-3PO. That's just, that's just a little, little, little posh boy. Um, oh dear. <laughs> Where's Master Luke? Oh, R2. Oh, you do a good BBA. Okay? I think that's quite good. <laughs> Better than um, a, any kind of Chewbacca impression is not going to go well. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Thank you for joining the course. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a first order star destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. Transport is ready. My <laughs> mum and I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the force be with us. Wow! Oh my god! Deck is in motion. Recruit crossing to transport. Look! The binary motivator. Yes. I just want to be sure. <laughs> All recruits must be on board now. Transport is away in 30 seconds. <laughs> Two, blue five, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. Don't worry, I'll come back for you. Stay strong. But we moved. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to get out there. <laughs> <laughs> Worst nightmare. <laughs> this, this is ridiculous. How do we get it? <laughs> we flew. A damn track to be. <laughs> I'm watching. Are they real? Real people. Oh. Yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meagre resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now. You will pay. The resistance prisoners. <laughs> you have what I want. <laughs> you know the location of the secret base. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, we're trying to escape. <laughs> Get a move on. <laughs> Absolutely over the moon. <laughs> it's unbelievable. down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Lieutenant Beck will guide you. Oh, yes. oh my god! These gates will keep on securely fastened. Keep those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Oh, look. Hey, you're not authorized. Oh no! Go, <laughs> <laughs> oh, find an alternate route. Don't pick these two droids anyway. Oh my god! <laughs>
<laughs> when Kylo Ren popped up, Adam was literally like, ah! <laughs> I generally like almost die in front of the kids in front to save their lives. <laughs> save the kids! Save the kids. <laughs> no, I'll take it, I'll take it. The first half is not even right. It's, like yeah. the, the it's just like the way in. It's so clever. You think you've like done the best bit and you haven't even started the ride yet. It was just absolutely. I mean, it's a that's, that's a different caliber, isn't it? Like, yeah. if that is the future of rides, I'm gonna spend my entire life at theme parks. Yeah. That was absolutely unbelievable. This part is just amazing, isn't it? Nothing beats this part. If you're a Star Wars fan, this is like a dream come true. So we're popping in here now. We're popping into Docking Bay Seven, and we're gonna grab some breakfast. The theming in here. I was not expecting this to look like this. This is so cool. Galaxy's Edge is pretty much unbeatable, I would say, for like a full, immersive experience. Like all of the thought and the detail that's gone into it. A little break from Star Wars. We're fed, we're fueled, we're ready to go. Had a little sip of blue milk, a little sip of green milk. Did not like the green milk. Well, it was not for me. Um, but we're taking a break from Star Wars now to go on to... Mickey and Minnie's Railway Railway! This is one that we did not do last time. This was not even open last time we were here, so we are super excited for this one. I've heard very good things. I know it's a lot of people's absolute favorite, very special ride. Oh, this is so cool. Wow, Pearly. Wow. The hands, the hands, who's hands have you got? Adam. Your guy. C3PO. C3PO. <laughs> oh, 101 Dalmatians. Purdy. Roger Rabbit, he's got big feet. Steve, Steve Martin, <laughs> Ray Liotta. Oh, hiya, folks. Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here Loki motive? Oh, that sounds like a lot of paperwork, but okay. <laughs> Thanks. You'll be making a jiffy to pick you all up. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Make sure you are at the front of your park. That was like magic. Welcome! Hey. Already for a relaxing ride around the park? That is the most joyful ride ever. We absolutely loved it. Especially the opening scene where it all kind of blows up. It was amazing. I'm actually filled with terror to say this. We're about to go on the Tower of Terror. I am not sure if I'm ready for this. I feel slightly sick <laughs> walking down this road on the approach to it. Um, I'm genuinely very, very scared right now. Oh my God, I can see the doors opening. <laughs> I am so scared right now. So I'm not filming this. This is, a, this is too much. I really don't want to do this. I, really, I, I don't think I want. To. I don't want to do this. I've done it before. I'll be nervous for me. I genuinely feel sick. We know what's wrong with the table. I've actually gone slightly hoarse from screaming. <laughs> I love that one. It's so funny. It's fine. 
that sort of ride, I always look at it, I'm like, that's so boring. And the ones that just go up and down, and I'm like, no, it's not really that fun. Because that is just it's so, drama so it, silly it? and like strange that it just makes it so fun. And I think as well, like the build up to it and the knowledge that it's going to happen is scarier than the actual ride. Like the actual ride is really fun, but like the build up to it, it literally makes me feel ill. <laughs> Staff. I felt so sick. The, the staff the people, so people good. Working right is so good. I think the guy who like, was like putting us in our seats could tell that I was really scared. I think he saw it in my face. So when he was like checking my seatbelt, he was like, "We're all good. We're all great." Oh, apart from that seat, I've been having problems with that seat today. Bye. <laughs> I was like, no. We're just in the Tower of Terror shop, having a little browse to try and return my heart rate back to normal slightly. And look at this super cute pin. It folds out, and Stitch is chewing the cable. I love that, that's so cute. I'm also quite tempted by one of these 50th anniversary pins. They're really, really lovely. I was just thinking like, oh, this is such random merch for the Tower of Terror, but it's like a robe, like you're staying in the Hollywood Tower Hotel. So that's actually really cool. You get like a nice luxury hotel robe for the most terrifying hotel on earth. I have just found a t-shirt which I'm actually quite tempted by. It's got these little ringer sleeves, little ringer collar in blue, and then these, the Fab Four, are all embroidered on it. And then it says Walt Disney World with the castle. I'm showing this terribly, I'm sorry. Uh, how much is this? I really, really like this. That is right up my street. I also really like this one. This looks like a t-shirt you would have come back with in like 1995 if you'd visited. Oh, they're nice. I love them. Look at these. They're super cute. Oh, and look at the cat bowl. There's a cat bowl. They could get Flo a little cat present. I'd rather get a cat That's collar, so no? cute. Oh, I didn't even see the collar. Oh, Flo, you're going to be absolutely decked out. We'll get you a little bow and everything. If you're watching. <laughs> if you're having a little rest, take the weight off a minute. And look what we found. These are the droids you're looking for. I really love these gold statues. They're such a nice addition to the park. They look so pretty and they're really like fun to stumble across and find. We just found Frozone, which is one of Adam's absolute favorite characters. So that was fun. So we have had a little sit down in the shade. It is getting hot right now um, and we're feeling refreshed. So we're heading back into the foray of everything. We've got Sci-Fi Diner over there. Oh, that's Baseline Tap House. Okay. I think we're probably gonna stop for a little drink in there before we head out today. Um, but for now, we're going to go for a wander around Galaxy's Edge and take all that in again because we were in a bit of a rush this morning. Um, so it'll be cool to take that a bit slower and go and see everything around there. You fancy a little wander around the shops in there, don't you? Adam's desperate for some Star Wars merch. He's got his heart set on a on a hat that he's invented. Should we demonstrate the hat? Yeah. So last time we were here, Adam bought a denim cap that's got a tiny little Mickey Mouse embroidered on it. I think it's like a, a pretty classic piece of merch and you love it, don't you? It's such a nice cap. Yeah, it, of all the stuff that I see in the shops, I like the stuff that's just very subtle. Yeah, but now it's... Adam has invented a hat that doesn't exist, but yet we're going shopping for it. Black to charcoal coloured hat. Yep. With a embroidered Grogu, a la the Mickey on that denim hat. It would be really cute. Like a little Grogu. I'd settle for a little Mando helmet. Oh, that would be nice. Like a little embroidered, like a little mini lightsaber. embroidered Grogu or your lightsaber a little... or a Jedi logo. Something like that. Yeah. It'd be nice, but I fear it won't exist. But even if we can't find that hat, we might find something else nice. Heading into the market. I think there's quite a lot of cool shops in here. So we can go for a little browse. Wherever you look around here, there's pogs. There's literally pogs and pogs for days. That was, ah. that was you this morning. Is that a Taunton? It was me at five o'clock this morning, that's for sure. It is, well done. That was good Star Wars knowledge, wasn't it? That in my life. I only know that from Lego Star Wars. You bounce around on one of those on one of the levels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love these little guys. Imagine bringing your child here and being like, I want this. <laughs> I want this giant Malteser with legs. <laughs> Be like, would you want a cute pork? Look how adorable. No, I want this. <laughs> it looks exactly like Flo. Just like, yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. There's so much detail that you could like so easily miss. 
that. Like all the detail in it that's so easy to miss yeah. if you don't like look up and try and like take in your surroundings properly. The design of it is just absolutely mind blowing. It's not just all about the merch, like make sure you look up, take it all in. It's close. It's close but no cigar. Get yourself a little Millennium Falcon for your desk. Be the coolest guy in the office. This guy, is this a Porg? Oh no, it's Jabba. <laughs> That's a very cute version of Jabba. That's a very flattering portrait of him, I'd say. There he is. Me, sir. That wasn't very good. <laughs> I'll delete that. Oh, I love that. That is so sweet. Lando. <laughs> it's granny. <laughs> She's in the new ones. Oh look! A bucket full of Grogu. Exactly. Sounds like it's about to take off. I've forgotten how like the sounds of the ships make you like look up. Yeah. Like you're looking for something that's taken off. You can even like hear it all around you. It's really mind blowing. <laughs> 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 and the noises you were making at 5 a.m. this morning. Shut <laughs> You are part of the first quarter now. You don't recall making the choice. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's time for you to go. First quarter. Required your service. Are you prepared to Obviously, there is a lot of extremely cool things about Galaxy's Edge, but I think maybe one of our favorite things is like the character moments that you get around here. Like that Kylo Ren spot just up there was so, so good. It's so funny watching them. And when you kind of spot the stormtroopers wandering around. And last time we saw Chewie as well. And um, one of the Disney guys yesterday was telling us that he once saw Chewie like trying to fix the Falcon and ba oh, yeah. bashing it about with all his tools and stuff. Like it's those little moments with the characters here that like are above and beyond. They make it so immersive and so much fun. I think the stormtroopers are maybe the best. Well, characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're so much fun. And it's like, this is none of your concern. <laughs> yeah. They just rip into all the dads, basically, and like laugh at all the little children. So we're coming up from Galaxy's Edge and back through Toy Story Land now, which is a lot fuller than the last time we saw it this morning. It's quite nice, all the like hustle and bustle of this bit, though. It kind of like suits it really nicely. And we're back up this way because we've just landed a very unexpected Genie Plus slot for, you guessed it, Toy Story Mania. Yeah. <laughs> we can't get enough of that shooty shooty game. Let's get my revenge. I do fear for my title now that we've had a warm up round this morning. No messing. I think Adam's got his game face on. This is going to be some serious business this match. It was an unexpected slot as well. We were just kind of fiddling around with Genie Plus. And I would say if you kind of keep refreshing over and over, the time slots seem to change quite a lot. I don't know whether people are kind of cancelling them and switching their plans around, but if you feel like you can't get any kind of soon slots, definitely keep refreshing because they seem to pop up constantly all the time and you can just kind of grab them and go. All the way down. Honestly, I think you can make a career out. I think to develop a new talent since your last game, for sure. I think this might be an absolute massacre. It's over. I, I don't want to look at the scores. I might concede. So we found a random crate in a shady spot. We stopped for five to come up with a bit of a plan of action. Um, so that plan of action involves Smuggler's Run, which we have a Genie Plus slot for, which we're heading on to right now. Very excited about that. Followed by a Genie Plus slot for Star Tours. This is our Star Wars heavy morning. Yeah. Uh, we're boxing off all the Star Wars rides this morning. Then we're gonna go for a little sit down and a drink, hopefully, at Baseline Tap House. And then, I think we might head back to the hotel after that for a little yeah. rest because it was a very early start this morning. It is very busy here today. It's very hot. The fan is really uh, coming into its own today. Really excelling. Let's go do some smuggling. 
I'm ready for some smuggling. What position do you think we're gonna take on the Millennium Falcon? I think what I want. Both. I want pilot. Yeah. I know the engineer. <laughs> Every time we did it last time, I think it was one time you were a gunner actually. I think you remember that, yeah. And the other times we did it, we were always engineers. I bet we're engineers. <laughs> Maybe that's just the life we're destined for. Shit, they got my, my physics GCC in there, and this guy could be a good engineer. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like to to transform this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. You buck at my fine ferry frame! Yes, yes. As we agree, you let us use the ship. We'll get you the supplies you need. It's a win-win! Thank you. Good luck to you all. You might need it. Today's flight takes you to the planet. We have popped into Baseline Tap House for a little drink. As you can see, they've got all sorts of different beers here and ciders, create your own beer flight. That's cool, that's a good idea. And I think we might even grab that little charcuterie plate just there for a little bite to eat as well. Uh, thank you very much. Paper straw for that? Oh yeah, that'd be lovely. Thank you. Perfect. So we're in full holiday mode right now. We've got a little California sunset cocktail, which is vodka, southern comfort, orange juice, sweet and sour, and a float of pomegranate juice. Sounds delicious. Adam's gone for a little hazy IPA. And then we've got this pretty delicious looking charcuterie board. Yum. While we're sitting in Baseline Tap House, we just need to have a little discussion about that Smugglers Run experience because they let us pilot. We got pilot. They finally. We genuinely both went like. <laughs> they finally let us pilot. When the two people in front of us got made engineers, yeah. we were we both knew. like. We knew what was happening. It's about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> As if this morning hasn't been amazing enough. We both landed a pilot role. Unbelievable. Our dream has been made. You know what, as well, so this, this read does, because we complained last time because we were engineers <laughs> and we kept sitting at the back being like, we keep crashing, <laughs> who are these clowns from? And you know what, I feel vindicated because I didn't realise that Here there we was, go. like, if I was flying up and down, Lucy was going left and right, and so we kind of tried to. We had, we had, I think we had a bit of a ropey start. It takes we, a little bit of getting We crashed, like, to. three times yeah. right at the start, and I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have judged losing <laughs> people so harshly for their rubbish, rubbish driving. It really does make a difference if you've got pilots who can steer you through the mission. It really, really makes a difference. I'm just glad that me complaining <laughs> about kids driving is actually justified. <laughs> Because, look, yeah. we're like, we're like, like, we queue for like, like 30 minutes. It's still time. quite a long queue. It was a, how long was it? Three it hours? Was like, it was 180 something. minutes. It was three nearly, hours. nearly three hours, that queue. And so you need a good pilot. If you queue for three hours, though, so if you're a kid and you're watching this, <laughs> get, get, get in the back. Get out of the queue. Be an engineer. <laughs> you know, earn your stripes. Leave it to the big guns. If you do land the pilot spot, it's up there as one of the best rides. Absolutely. It really, really does make a difference. As much as like, it's fun whatever you do, it makes it one of the best rides if you get to be a pilot, for sure. Yeah, and it's hard not to turn around to like, there was like a American, like a family behind us before, and I feel like the mum wasn't pulling her away. <laughs> and I felt I was about to turn around and scream. I was like, are you gonna fix that engine? They were so great though. A part of why it was so great <laughs> was, was that so we nice. were all like cheering and we were all whooping. like, like encouraging each other. Like it was a really like good atmosphere that one. Yeah. It was it was as as good as smugglers run can get. I think yeah. so. We really really enjoyed that. I highly recommend Baseline Tap House as well. Such a nice little chill out spot here. A little shop. A couple of drinks. Got a little bit of cocktail left. I just want a pilot again. <laughs> I swear, I can't bother We're now to, going I can't to have to do this over and over I can't until we land pilot I can't talk about anything else. So I think we might be wrapping up the Hollywood Studios now. Yeah. We've been here eight hours. <laughs> and we've done a lot for it as well. We've done a lot of rides today. It is extremely, extremely hot. I felt like quite faint in the, in the Smuggler's Run queue. And it is very, very busy. That yeah. three hour queue tells you everything you need to know. And then I think this afternoon slash evening, Disney Springs. Disney Springs. I am completely obsessed with this. It's, I mean, it looks very similar to the one I bought earlier, but this might be coming home with me, I think. Oh, that's cool. That looks like a, li a proper like employee shirt. Like you actually work at Pizza Planet. Oh, I really like the mug as well. You've ever seen two t-shirts that should belong to us more? It's these matching Hercules t-shirts. <laughs> Some pretty ominous clouds over that way. 
hopefully that's not the direction we're heading in although we're just heading back to the hotel to chill so hopefully we might avoid a big old rainstorm if that's what's coming but we've got the skyliner over here this is where it's amazing if you're staying on a skyliner resort you can just hop on there and sail straight home we are on the hunt for the bus stops which i think are just straight down here hopefully ah oh, that's hopeful animal kingdom lodge jambo house we want 10 is that this way so bright out here, I can barely even see who I'm talking to right now. Good evening from Disney Springs. First time we've been back here on this trip. Looking forward to some nice chill vibes, a lovely bite to eat. We're pretty lucky actually, as we were on the bus from the hotel, it started absolutely pouring with rain. We were like, oh no. But just as we arrived, the skies cleared up. It's turned beautiful blue skies, bright sunshine again. So we timed that particularly well. Any of this looking familiar right now? We've got Sephora down here. Rather than trying to desperately remember where we're going, let's go and have a look at this giant map of it. <laughs> let's admit defeat and get some bearings. Well, we can, I, I remember going into Sephora, but I don't remember much else. Ain't that the story of my life? Oh, look at all the balloons. Ah, and Adam has very fond memories of a restaurant we went to last time called The Polite Pig, which I think we're gonna go and check out the queue for. Ah! <laughs> We've just had a major brainwave. Blaze Pizza. That's exactly what I wanna eat right now. Blaze Pizza. That's where we're going. I love when you have a food brainwave and your brain just like clicks into place and it's like, yep, that's it. Good pizza. That is exactly what I wanna eat right now. So we're gonna go and create our perfect pizzas. It's a cute little wall. We're definitely missing a trick with this orange bird. Who is he and where does he come from? Maybe he's just like an icon of Florida. He might be. Please let me know. I think we want that direction, right? Yeah. <laughs> Adam's fairly sure he's following his nose to the pizza right now. <laughs> I just remember last time we did this. I got lost. I feel <laughs> like I'm going the exact same route that I lost. Oh, perfect. Doing. That fills me with much hope. For anyone wondering, we did indeed <laughs> go the same wrong way as last time. But it's okay, because look how pretty it looks. Ah, that looks familiar. Oh, it looks busy though. On a scale of one to 70 million, how excited are you for this pizza right now? <laughs> it's an interesting scale. <laughs> if I say 10, that's incredibly low <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. So I would say 70 million. 70 million, approximately. There's a little queue outside, but I don't think that's too bad, really. So I think we'll stick with this. Can I do classic red sauce, please? Yes, please. Hi, how are you? Special delivery. <laughs> I have gone for my ultimate pizza combination. If I ever have to create my own pizza, this is always what I will choose. We've got pepperoni, pineapple, red onion. Sometimes I chuck an olive on there. Adam went for Italian sausage. Italian sausage. Red onion. Got very stressed by the whole experience. Cheers. Do you not get like the oregano? I wish I did. That is such good pizza. Time for a little after dinner browse at World of Disney. This could get interesting. Oh, I quite like this tie-dye t-shirt. Yeah. This is really cool. This looks like proper 90s gear, doesn't it? Like, I feel like I would have worn this when I was six years old. <laughs> and I still love it now. Yes. That says a lot about my fashion taste. Uh, we just need to talk about this pin. Lizzie McGuire, my friends. It's about time Lizzie McGuire had a moment in this place. I'm looking for Lizzie McGuire land. I'm also very here for this one. It's absolutely enormous, but it's just full of slightly obscure characters from Robin Hood, <laughs> like Friar Tuck and Clucky. Stranger, from the outside. Uh... Can we just take a moment for these notebooks? They're the storybooks from the beginning of the movies. Adam, will you open one of these for me? Like right at the beginning of the movies, they start with like the storybook opening and they're little line notebooks. I mean, they're absolutely ridiculous. They're so heavy, but they're kind of amazing. Oh, yeah. oh look at the Beauty and the Beast one too. Why do I, why do I kind of want one of these? <laughs> I could use it as my secret journal. This nice understated secret journal. Just like 
like that. Wow, I literally look, I've been dragging her hedge backwards. <laughs> What's happened to me? I've been Disneyed. And I realized that I hadn't signed this off, so I thought I would say goodnight. I have something quite exciting to do though before I end this vlog today. I thought this would be a nice little finisher for the day. Uh, we did a little bit of shopping, of course. When in Disney Springs, it's rude not to. We bought a little present for Adam's nephew, which is very cute, and I picked up two little things, which I'm quite excited about. Number one, like it was time and the other thing I bought which I'm really excited about so if you saw I think it was yesterday I've really lost all track of time yesterday I bought my first kind of like multi-pack of pins because I really want to do some pin trading while I'm here it's like one of my Disney bucket list things that I think is really fun and I really really want to do and these are a really fun little thing to pick up actually they're kind of like mystery boxes of pins there's loads of different styles you can get um, I bought the Fantasyland pack and they're all Beauty and the Beast themed so there's like Belle, all the other characters that I love, like Gaston and LeFou and crazy old Maurice. Post in the comments down below which one you think it's gonna be and then let me know if you were right. So there's two in here. Let me know your predictions now. It's no one. Da, 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 da. No one's neck is incredibly thick oh, as Gaston. Oh. I use antlers in all of my decorating. La 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 la. That's actually a really nice pin. I don't want to trade. This is going to be my problem, is that I don't want to my trade guy. any of these pins. <laughs> Roughly the size of a barge, an incredibly thick neck, uses antlers in all of his decorating. What's not to love? Brrr, this is so fun. Oh, am I about to get addicted to mystery pin boxes? <laughs> oh, it's Mrs. Potts and Chip. That is so cute. Taylor's oldest time. Do, 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 do. It's debatable whether I'm going to want to give either of those up, to be honest. <laughs> Mrs. Potts and Chip. Oh, cool. Taylor's oldest time. Off to the cupboard now, Chip. Okay, I think I'm verging on delirious now, so I think it's time to go to bed. Adam's just cracking into the Cheetos at quarter Hello. past ten. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. A little trip to Hollywood Studios and a little trip to Disney Springs. What a great day. Great day. Best day. You said that it had been your best day yet, didn't you? I did. It's been a really, really good one. It's been a pretty hectic one, as you can tell by my hair. I'm not really sure what we're up to tomorrow yet. I think Epcot's on the cards. Um, but other than that, it's a bit of a mystery day right now. Oh, I think we're going to dinner. We've got our first fancy okay, dinner booked, haven't we? So tomorrow is our first proper, like, booked table service dinner. And I guess you'll have to tune into the next vlog to find out where we're going. Ooh, leave them wanting more. Ooh, suspense. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>